The war in Iraq as of July 2008 has cost the U.S. over $552 billion. What if that money was spent on the U.S. instead of the war? What if we as a nation had taken the $500 billion, I've rounded it down to $500 billion to make the math easier, and put it in state bank accounts, one bank account for each state, with these basic rules. One, the capital could not be spent. Instead, it must be invested in local banks, banks in that state. Two, the interest on the money from the banks can be spent any way the state wants to. Three, the banks holding the money can only loan the money to businesses or people in that state. That's the basic rules. Now let's see how much money per state that would be. The war has cost $500 billion. Divide that by 50 states. You get $10 billion per state. Now, invest that money in banks within that state. Let's say you got a hefty 6% return per year on your capital. 6% of $10 billion is $600 million. $600 million per year divided by 12 equals the amount of interest per month. $600 million divided by 12 months equals $50 million per month. That means that each state in the U.S. would get $50 million each month from the interest on their state bank accounts. The money would come in each and every month from now on. It would never stop. There would never be a month when each state didn't get 50 million extra dollars to improve their state. How long before we could end all poverty in the U.S.? Let's take an example. Imagine the state of Kansas getting 50 million dollars interest on their state bank account every month. Let's imagine that they decide to give each county one month's interest. That would be a nice help to counties with bigger cities like Kansas City, Topeka, and Wichita. But what about rural counties in the western part of the state like Greeley or Wallace? Fifty million dollars is a lot of money and it would do a lot of good for rural counties like this. And remember the basic premise. Each month the money comes in, it would never stop. Never. Let's review. If we divided the $500 billion spent on the Iraq war equally between the 50 states, that would be $10 billion per state. Invested at 6%, that would bring in $600 million per year or $50 million per month. And the money would never stop coming in. Never stop coming in. Never. Never. Never.